myself assistant professor nikhil bosle from department of computer science aml kd college of engineering kolapu today we will be going on with the course of computer organization and digital logic the first unit of computer organization and digital logic is 8085 microprocessor we will be looking up with the pin diagram of 8085 the features of 8085 and then the architecture of 8085 we will be looking up with the features of 8085 8085 has 8 bit of data lines and 16 bit of address line the registers that is represented are six registers and each register is of 8 bit the registers are b c d e h and l those are the eight registers another two registers are accumulator and flag register but among the eight eight registers the six important registers are bc de and h each register saves 8 bit of data and when we want 16 bit of data then we have to make the pairing of the data that is either bc de or hl okay then we have accumulator the accumulator is the storing register whatever the operation that is performed in the arithmetic logical unit that operation value is stored in the accumulator accumulator particularly accumulates all the values then we have flag register flag register represents the status of the accumulator whether the value of the accumulator is zero negative positive all those things is understood through the flag register then we have instruction register and instruction decoder instruction register particularly means that the instruction is fetched and it is stored in the instruction register in the instruction decoder whatever the instruction to be understood by the computer in the machine language okay that is decoded or whatever the instruction like adi one instruction is there that instruction is not understood by the computer that instruction is converted in the opcode in the form of bits and that value is done in the instruction decoder then we have program counter which is of 16 bit the program counter particularly stores the opcode of the instruction and we will be understanding about the program counter instruction register and instruction decoder when we go with the instruction fetching process the next part we will be looking is about the pin diagram of 8085 in the pin diagram of 8085 okay we will be looking up with the address and data bus and then we will be looking up with the address bus we have seen that the address line is of 16 bit and the data line is of 8 bit okay which is actually represented as a0 to a15 okay that is the address lines and data lines is from d0 to d7 total number of lines here are 16 and total number of lines here are 8 now if we use separately these lines then the total number of lines become 18 plus 6 24 so the number of pins required are also more so to reduce the number of these pins multiplex concept is used okay so particularly a0 to a7 and d0 to d7 those both are multiplex to become ad0 to ad7 okay so multiplex of ad0 to ad7 is done
A8 to A15 and AD0 to AD7. Those are all the lines which are required for the address and data bus. Okay. We will be looking up through the explanation of it of the address and data lines. A0 to A15 are the 16 bit address lines required. Okay. And D0 to D7 is the data lines of 8 bit required. Okay. This A0 to A15 is again divided as A0 to A7 and A8 to A15. A0 to A7 represents lower address and A8 to A15 represents higher order address. A0 to A7 and D0 to D7 are multiplex to form AD0 to AD7. And the other lines were A8 to A15. So, we have seen through the pin diagram the number of lines required gets reduced because we have multiplexed lower order address lines and data lines to form AD0 to AD7 and the other lines are A8 to A15. Next, we will be looking with the architecture of 8085. In the architecture of 8085, we have B, C, D, E. In the architecture of 8085, we have registers B, C, D, E and H, L. Okay. Those are either 8-bit data or 16-bit data. When we want to use as a 8-bit data, a particular register is to be used either as B, C, D, E, H or L. But if we want to use a 16-bit data, then the pairing of the data, pairing of the registers is done. And that pairing should be like B, C, D, E or H, L. Right? Then we have address lines and data lines. Okay. That is represented as A8 to A15 and AD0 to AD7. Now, when the address operation is to be performed, then AD0 to AD7 becomes A0 to A7. And when the data operation is to be performed, then AD0 to AD7 becomes D0 to D7. Next part is timing and control. That timing and control is like a brain of the human being. Thus, the way the brain just provides the signal to the hand, legs, okay, and body parts to do its operation. Similarly, the timing and control part provides the signal to its units, to the other units, for what operation is to be performed. Okay. Next, we will be looking is about the interrupt control. Okay. Interrupt control basically holds the microprocessor operation and does some external operation. Okay. We can understand the interrupt control exam uh, through an example like, uh, um, like a person is uh, doing his homework or a student is doing his homework in a room. Okay. Uh, if someone knocks at the door, he can give the priority for that interrupt who is interrupting his homework. Okay. If the parents are knocking, he can give he can give priority to that interrupt. If small brother or some relatives are knocking, he can uh, he can not give priority for those interrupts. So similar concept is used with the interrupt control in the microprocessor. Okay. Next, this representing of the green line is the data line. Okay. This is about the serial input output da data, which is passing on the serial data from the microprocessor to the peripherals or from the peripherals to the microprocessor. Okay. Now, the most important thing with regarding to the programming of the microprocessor, we have to understand about the data lines, address lines and the timing control signals. After understanding this concept, the later uh, concept of the interrupt and the serial input output data will be understood. Then we have, as we have seen through the architecture of microprocessor, we will be again uh, understanding the concept of uh, the microprocessor 8085. Okay. 
First one is ALU which performs the arithmetic logical operations. The operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, those all operations are performed in the ALU. Other one is accumulator. Whatever the operations of addition, subtraction is done, that is uh, stored in the accumulator or it accumulates all the value. The general purpose register which are BC, DE and HL are the six registers and the other two registers are accumulator and temporary register. Okay. If you want to store the 8 bit of data that should be either stored in B, C, D, E, H or L and also in accumulator also. And if you want to use a 16 bit data, okay, then we have to store in B, C, D, E or H, L pair. Okay. The next part is about the data bus, address bus and timing control. Now, consider this as a microprocessor and this as the memory okay the data can be passed from the microprocessor to the memory or from the memory to the microprocessor so the data lines are bi-directional okay 8 bit of data can be passed from the microprocessor to the memory or from the memory to the microprocessor right address address is the location of the memory hmm. so the microprocessor first finds the location of the memory which is of 16 bit location okay from that location the 8 bit data is passed to the microprocessor so the address line is a unidirectional line that is the line is from the microprocessor to the memory but the data lines is bi-directional that is the data can be passed from the microprocessor to the memory or from the memory to the microprocessor. Timing and control represents the brain of the human being. Okay. It is just like a brain of the human being which provides the signal to all the other units what operation are, are to be performed. Next is about the program counter instruction register and instruction decoder. The actual proper to understand the concept of it, we will be looking up through the next lesson of instruction fetching process. Okay. At that moment, we will clearly understand the concept of the program counter, instruction register and instruction decoder. Increment decrement latch is to increment or decrement the address line. With some of the instruction like push pop, we have to increment or decrement the address pointer. We will be understanding the concept of the increment and decrement of the latch, okay, uh, of the address latch when we look up through the instruction. We have seen about the interrupt control through an example also and the priority of those interrupt is represented here in the priorities as trap is given the maximum priority, RST 7.5, 6.5 and 5.5 are the lower priorities to be seen, okay. So, this is the register structure of microprocessor which has BC, DE, HL register, the program counter and stack pointer. Address line is of 16 bit and data lines is of 8 bit. So, we have seen address line is of 16 bit which is a unidirectional that is the address is passed from the microprocessor to the memory. Data lines is of 8 bit. Either the data is passed from the memory to the microprocessor or from the microprocessor to the memory. We have seen about BC, DE and HL register which are 8-bit registers and when they are paired it becomes a 16-bit register and the pairing should be done as BC, DE or HL register. Okay. Then we have seen about the accumulator and the flag register. About the stack pointer, it represents the address of the top of the stack. When we look up through the operation of stack like push, pop, XTHL, okay, with those instruction, we will be understanding about the stack pointer. Interrupt control, we have seen it just provides the interrupt for the microprocessor to halt its operation and to give priority for their interrupts. And the microprocessor can decide for which particular uh, interrupt it has to give priority to. Whether he has, whether the microprocessor has to give priority to that interrupt or ignore that interrupt okay next we have seen about the accumulator 
whatever the operation performed in the ALU is stored in the accumulator, right? Flag register gives the status of the accumulator and five bits are there S, Z, X, A, C, P and C, Y, okay? S represents the signed bit, Z represents the zero bit, A, C represents the auxiliary bit and C, Y represents the carry bit. X is a don't care bit, whatever the value in the X is uh, uh, X location, it doesn't matter whether it's zero or one, it is a don't care condition. When we look up to the instruction as add ADI, ADM, okay, or SUB of subtract instruction, SBI uh, instructions, at that, at those instructions, we will be understanding the use of the flag register or how the status of the accumulator will be decided by the flag register. In the lesson two, we will be uh, going on with the fetching process of the instruction. We will be looking up with the memory uh, and IO interfacing concept and also about the stack operation, the operations like push pop, XTHL, those all instructions will, uh, uh, will be understood through the lesson 2. This is the end of the lesson 1. Thank you very much.